Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of uh, Nuggets for the Soul. And uh, since it's the month of May and May is devoted to uh, our Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, I would like to share with you uh, a, a, a devotion given to her. Beside me also is the picture of Our Lady of Good Counsel, which is the name of uh, Mary here at uh, St. Mary's Parish in Ottawa, Canada. Okay, so for me, uh, I, I like going to priests uh, that gives like light penance because I'm 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 lazy, <laughs> uh, uh, and and I like the priests whenever they would t tell me, oh, your penance is three Hail Marys. Okay, that's why for me, uh, I think that that's the reason why a lot of people would come to me for confession is because I also give this penance to them, uh, three Hail Marys, right? Uh, but I've learned about this uh, three Hail Mary devotion. And since learning about this devotion, I tried practicing it really in my life every day, you know, not, not just in doing penance, uh, but also teaching other people about the, this three Hail Mary devotion. So I saw this uh, a devotion uh, written by St. Gertrude the Great. She had a vision of a, of a revelation. So this is how it happened. It was the Vespers of the Feast of the Annunciation, and it was time to sing the Hail Mary St. Gertrude suddenly saw something like three springs of water emerging from the hearts of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, which then penetrated the heart of the Blessed Virgin. At that instant, she heard a voice which said, After the power of the Father, the wisdom of the Son, and the tender mercy of the Holy Spirit, nothing compares to the power, wisdom, and tender mercy of Mary. Okay, so uh, that's why uh, for for us, like you know, at mass uh, after the pro after the priest would say, you know, the the, the gospel of the Lord, uh, the uh, and you know, you said that the Lord be with you, and then we will say the glory to you, O Lord, right? And uh, we would sign ourselves on our forehead, on our lips, and on our chest, and it's a good reminder that when we're signing our forehead, uh, we're asking for uh, God's wisdom. Okay, and when we're signing our lips, we're asking for God's power, and when we're signing our chest, we're asking for God's love, and uh, and I, I do that uh, also, like you know, whenever I'm uh, preparing my homilies or talks, uh, and also when I'm about to, to 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 preach, I would sign myself on the forehead, on the lips, and on the the, the chest, uh, and asking really the uh, the intercession of Mary, so that I would receive God's God's wisdom. God's love and God's power. Okay, so maybe you would like to do that um, uh, devotion, the three Hail Mary devotion. The Virgin Mary also promised to another saint, Saint MacTilde, uh, that whoever would pray the three Hail Marys every day would receive her help during her li during life and her special as assistance at the moment of death. The Virgin Mary would appear to them with such brightness and beauty that the mere sight of her would bring consolation and the joys of heaven. Okay, so beautiful, right? Uh, so so uh, other saints also, like Saint Alphonsus Liguori, uh, promoted this devotion. Saint John Bosco would teach the the, the, the the youth about this devotion. And also Saint Pio, Padre Pio, also said that many would convert just by practicing this devotion. So how to pray the three Hail Marys? Okay, so just say, Mary, my mother, free me from falling into mortal sin by the power granted you by the Eternal Father, then say the Hail Mary, by the wisdom granted you by the Son, then say the Hail Mary, and then by the love granted you by the Holy Spirit, say the Hail Mary. Okay, and, uh, and then you could conclude with a glory be and the, with a brief prayer, Mary, by your immaculate conception, purify my body, and sanctify my soul. Uh, you, you could do a variation of that. For me, I would incorporate this uh, three Hail Mary devotion uh, in saying the Angelus. As you know, it's a practice in the Catholic Church to say the Angelus at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and then 6 p.m., okay? But for me, I, I'm not really uh, particular on the time as long as I do one Angelus in the morning, whatever time, one Angelus in the afternoon, uh, whatever time, and also uh, in the evening, and uh, and incorporating this, you know, whenever I say the three Hail Marys in the Angelus, I would cross my forehead, my lips, and 
my, my chest and asking really Mary uh, to intercede so that I will receive God's power, God's love, and God's wisdom. Okay? So hopefully you'll be able to practice this Three Hail Mary devotion every day of your life until you die. And uh, for sure, Mary will be there uh, to welcome you to go to heaven. And uh, be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.